Hey everybody, it's Missy. Thanks for joining me today and happy National Scrapbooking Day or International Scrapbooking Day. I'm so excited to be here for the Hip Kit Club and I'm issuing the challenge at this point of our uh, challenges throughout the, the weekend. And my challenge is to get a little bit mixed media crazy and use the color kit. It can be whichever color kit in the past few months that you have, but use one of the color kits to create a messy, artsy, mixed media type background. So I'm going to start with a sheet of the light yellow cardstock from the cardstock kit this month and some white gesso. And I'm just going to smudge a nice big white space onto the center area of my paper and I couldn't find my credit card to smudge it so I'm just using my hand. It's all dry and I picked this stencil from my stash and clearly I've used it several times. It's got all kinds of <laughs> dried paint on it. I need to get better about cleaning my stencils but anyway I'm using the color kit from this month and this um, these are the Vicki Booten art crayons. And all I'm doing is scribbling right onto the paper through the stencil and then using my fingers to smudge it. And you can see how the gesso allows it to smudge really easily. Um, I'm just kind of smudging dry here with my finger. And I do pull out my water brush over there to the right. And in a couple spots, I add just a smidgen of water. And look at how much more it, it smudges. I'm not really using a lot of the crayon because... Uh, just a little bit of water allows that little bit of color to continue to smudge. And so I'm just blending. I want pinks, reds, oranges, and yellows. And I just am going for a random cool looking background here. I haven't even chosen my pictures at this point. I just sort of started out making this background and I thought I'll see what I come up with. And then I will search through my pictures and pick some to go later. Sometimes I start with the picture and sometimes I start like this. And so I was just in the mood to use that color kit and get creative and create something different. And in a sense, I'm kind of creating my own pattern paper background. You know, I love to do that and it's, it's a lot of fun. You can customize it. You can do this with any kind of stencil. You could do this with, um, you know, ink sprays or paints. There's so many things that we've gotten in our color kits in the past. We've got quite a collection of art supplies. And so, you know, there's uh, lots of possibilities here. And I love how this is turning out. I sped this up quite a bit because it's just kind of adding color and smudging here and there and creating different shades of the colors. I love how I've got dark areas and then when you smudge it, it's going to lighten up and kind of look hazy and faded. And you just get this really cool look. I think that looks super awesome. So something else you could do with these crayons is the packaging technique. I know I do this quite a lot. A lot of people do this. And I just scribbled it right onto some plastic, added some water with a paintbrush swirled it around to mix it up and then turn over the plastic and smudge it down. These colors are really bold and really bright and they 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 uh, worked with the packaging technique really well. And I'm just kind of layering in some more color here. Uh, I'm doing it right on top of the other crayon work that I did through the stencil and you can see it's perfectly fine. It didn't bleed or run. But all the blending and the smudging and everything is working really well, I think, because I added the gesso. It's kind of protecting the paper, and so all the uh, water that I'm using now is kind of sitting on top of the paper. It's not going to seep through the paper. And if you don't like to use wet stuff on your paper, you could totally just do the smudging dry, like I did with the stencil. And it's, you're going to basically have no paper warping at all. Okay, so these are also in the color kit this month. And these are also from Vicki Booten. And there's a pack of these almost like cardstock stickers. And they're meant to be colored. Or you could leave them black and white. Of course, I want to color them. And I'm just writing right onto them with the crayon and then smudging with my fingers. And this worked really, really well. I didn't add any gesso or anything like that. I just kind of wanted some different shades of the colors on these round circle stickers. Kind of uh, same technique I did on the background. Pinks, yellows, oranges. And I'm just gonna kinda incorporate these into my design. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do at this point. I just knew that I wanted to use more of those stickers. And there's a lot of those stickers in that pack. If you've got the color kit, then you know already. There's uh, really, there's some alphas, there's all kinds of shapes. Um, labels and tags, all kinds of great things. 
So like I said, I kind of wanted this to be a random background. Uh, so everything I'm using doesn't necessarily have to make sense. Um, I'm going to use those four circles here in a bit, but I want to make sure that I'm done with my background. Of course, I'm not. I'm never done on the first go round. I always have to go and do more, right? So I decided to add some splatters. I just used the crayon again, added some water, stuck my brush into it, and flicked it around. So these crayons are very versatile. They remind me a lot of gelatos. They're a little bit different, but I treat them the same way as I would a gelato, and uh, I think that they work really well. And the colors are just, you can't beat these bright colors. They're so bold. Definitely my favorite. And I love how they look on this yellow background. All right, so everything is dry. And I found some pictures from a few years ago of my oldest daughter, and she's wearing a swimsuit that matches these colors exactly. I was like, oh, I forgot I had those. I have to use those. So I printed those in color. Uh, my original thought was to use black and white because I thought the black and white pictures would pop off that background. But once I came across these, I knew I had to use those because they just match too perfectly. So I'm adding some tissue paper and some really bright green adhesive foam on the backs. And then I realized I got that one too close to the edge because I wanted to overlap it. So I just cut a little bit of it off. And now I'm just going to work on embellishing. Now I originally thought I was going to use Love Your Laugh. And that's from the Paige Evans Oh My Heart chipboard sticker sheet. And I like how this looks. I'm just kind of putting things down just to see what it looks like at this point. And I toyed with the idea of adding in another color. But I decided against it. So I'm going to stick with all the pink, oranges, and yellows for this. And I'm just going to layer in those stickers that I colored. Kind of two at the top and two on the bottom of the pictures. And I know I've got different shapes going on. I've got those chevrons and then I added the circles. Again, it doesn't necessarily make sense. And that's okay. Sometimes I think too hard. And I think everything has to make sense. But sometimes it doesn't, you know, and it's just it, what strikes you at the moment and what you think looks good and what you like. And so I just went with it. I decided that I wanted to fussy cut more flowers. I think it's, it's a challenge for me this month to create something without flowers. And these just look too pretty. I fussy cut out two clusters here. And I, again, I know I keep saying this, but originally I was not even thinking about flowers. I would never have paired up flowers with this crazy random background, but that paper just jumped out at me. Before I glue anything down, I ran this through my sewing machine and just decided to add some orange and pink stitching. I just did straight stitching down the centers of those chevron shapes just to give it a little more texture and interest. And I love how this is looking. I love that it's random. And you know, I actually thought about it. The more I looked at the pictures, she's got flowers on her swimsuit. So I guess the flowers and the uh, layering makes sense now. So I'm going to add some orange thread in a couple of spots. And then I'm going to start to glue everything down. Because if you've ever used gesso or gelatos or sprays, then you know that most stickers need some help sticking. Um, they don't want to stick when the background is compromised like that. So I like to add some glue to make sure it's not going anywhere. So now that I've added in the flowers to the right, I don't really have the space to put Love Your Laugh. So I'm going to change my mind on the title and play with a couple other things. And I'm going to wind up using love the good life and that's another chipboard sticker from the oh my heart sticker sheet and so i just decided to go smaller with the title since i added those flower elements on the right this is pink thread i'm going to add in some of that texture color interest i love it i really like how this is turning out um came together pretty quickly after I fussy cut those flowers and decided to layer those in. I have to make sure that's straight and it wasn't. So uh, yeah, it's another, another thing I have. I like things to be messy and crooked, but then when it's time to make things straight, I have to break out the ruler to make sure. These are some of the exclusive sequins that we got, and so I'm going to scatter some of those around and glue those down in all matching colors. 
And then one of the last things I'm going to do is add in a couple of lines for my journaling. And I had some trouble writing. I think I need new pens. My uh, tips of the pens are getting ruined because I try to write over gesso too much. But I made it work. And I'm going to add in a little bit of splatters. This is a Shimmers coloring. It's called Pink Stilettos. And we got that a long time ago in a color kit. But I added the date. And that's the final layout. I love how bright this turned out. I love that I found pictures to match the background perfectly. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I cannot wait to see what you guys upload to the forum and all the different challenges this week. Uh, but don't forget this one. It is to make your own background of some sort using a color kit in any way that you want to. Uh, I can't wait to see it. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will look for your layouts in the forum. Happy National and International Scrapbooking Day. Have a great fun weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.